have been asked many, many times to talk about the sexual energy between twin flames. I have been told about kundalini risings and about random orgasms out of nowhere. I have been told about whole body vibrations or feeling the twins' physical touch when not having seen each other in months. I have been told about what was considered the best sex ever, the merging of spirits, and the physical craving and longing that's so intense it feels like death. So what is actually going on here and how do we explain this? Well, the answer is actually simpler than you think. This was a requested video by many of you. If you have any topics that you would like me to cover, please leave me a comment down below and I will create content for you. And also, please don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if this video resonates with you. So what's happening when we feel sexual energy from the twin that's so strong we think we will be forever ruined? Two things are occurring with regards to this. The first one is the opening of the chakras, especially the sacral chakra of creativity and sexuality. And it opens the most right after we've met the twin, or for the runner, it can be right before. This is where what I call the muse stage comes from. And I talk about this more in my videos, Twin Flame Stages, and also Meeting the Twin Flame, both of which I will link down below. But even this is really part of the bigger picture, which you may find hard to believe, but here it is. You are simply filtering the energy through the lens of the ego, which ultimately becomes a bodily slash biological response. We can actually see this with every member of the soul family. When we, fight, when we fight with a karmic, the energy gets filtered and turned into blind rage. It can also get transmuted into sexual energy, which is why we're usually so physically attracted to karmics, feel addicted to them, and can also very easily mistake them for twin flames. When we spend time with a soulmate, the energy gets filtered as nostalgia, and we feel physically comfortable, safe, and seen. The soulmate becomes our best friend, but if we're looking at the sexual energy that gets transmuted through the interaction, it's generally on and off, up and down, undulating with our mood. So why is plain old energy getting confused with sexual energy? I have three answers for this. Number one, let's start with the easiest one, which is biology. The body on a survival level, just as everything else, wants to procreate so that we are not wiped out. Luckily, we have a choice of whether we do that or not. But on a physical level, we still biologically operate as such. Biology views and filters the energy we feel in soul family members as a symmetrical face or someone with good genes, or tall equals strong and protective, or these pheromones are attractive. In reality, it's all energy getting filtered through our body's innate judgment system in order to preserve the species. <laughs> Number two is that we are very much attached to ego. What I mean by this is that we spend so much time in the 3D world of simulacra, especially those of us in the Western world, that we can't see past sexuality, sensuality, or utilizing physical touch as an expression of love and care. And when most of us have self-love or self-worth as a core karmic lesson, it's pretty easy to see how physical touch becomes important egoically. We are also consistently inundated with advertisements, commercials, TV shows, Politics, news, social media, told how to dress, what to eat, where to vacation, what to do for a living, when to feel certain ways and how we should be feeling. That when we encounter strong energy, the only way the body knows how to handle it is by understanding it as one of a few things, anger, anxiety, love, or sexual energy. It all depends which lens the ego currently has on whilst being inundated with said energy. Another way for me to demonstrate this is by looking towards those who have spent their current incarnations attempting to reach enlightenment. Any energy that they feel that is stirred up from biological responses is instead metamorphosed into life force energy, which keeps them in the higher chakras. And when you're detached from ego or non-attached to ego, 
energy doesn't get confused with sexuality, anger, love, or anxiety, but instead sits as what it is, just energy. And you're able to feel it without connecting it with physicality, just like when you meditate. The sexual, the sexual energy you feel with your twin, whether it's from afar or close up, is just energy. It's the same thing as you feel with every member of your soul family. It's the same thing you feel when you walk into a room and have a bad feeling. It's the same thing that you feel when you pray or chant at a kirtan or do breath work or exercise at the gym. It's simply energy movement. And yes, you will feel it more with your twin than you do with anyone else, but that's because you have manifested them in order to remember that you are in fact all of that energy. Whether you use that energy to have sex with your twin, hate your karmic, love your soulmate, or come into union with yourself and remain equanimous, remember that it is all just the same. And it's your mind that is telling you it's something different. Until next week, all of my best and highest vibrations to you.